Good morning and welcome to yet another vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. Today it's a special one because we're here at Dreamland Margate uh, where the park have actually invited us down to come and see their eight new rides that have all just opened ready for the summer season here at the park. Uh, me and Charlotte have only actually ever been here once uh, and that was in 2015 when we came for their first ever Halloween event, Screamland. And uh, yeah, it feels weird coming back here and seeing it because it looks so different already uh, to when we last came. Like I say, the park have built eight new rides from Zamperla. Uh, there's all sorts of other changes around the park. They've got like a proper concert venue in here now. And later on tonight, we are going to be here watching uh, like the DJs and stuff on tonight. It's going to be fantastic. Going to be really uh, looking forward to it. Of course, it's me and Charlotte. Krista and Alex are here as well. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd start off right here at the entrance to the park and uh, show you this just behind us. Look at this structure. I love this kind of stuff. And if there's any fans of uh, Blackpool and maybe the Blackpool Illuminations in particular, quite a few old Blackpool Illuminations there on this big structure. And I believe that there's all these different lights on it at night and it all lights up lovely. And uh, yeah, look at that. It's even got Dream up the top just there as well. But uh, it looks great, doesn't it? Let's go have a little closer look at that before we uh, head around and of course do the rides. We have also been given permission by the park to film on ride here at Dreamland today. So there'll be on ride footage from the new spinning coaster, the Dreamland drop, uh, all the other new flat rides as well. Pinball, uh, like I say, is the spinning coaster, Pinball X. And uh, yeah, look at that. It's quite funny, you've got like the little uh, jelly babies at the top just there. You've got this big devil. I remember when I was a kid, like, well, like sort of late 90s, going down, driving down the promenade on Blackpool and seeing all this sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, we met up with some of the representatives from the park who've helped arrange this for us today. And uh, they were saying now, you know, it's a very Instagram style park, like all these sort of posts are really nice, aren't they? All retro style stuff. And uh, yeah, this part, that's what it's all about. Retro, heritage. But for this year, they wanted to go all out there and uh, put in these eight new rides. Here's just, Alex, just, just there. I don't want new viewers to think about pink elephants. You don't? Just don't think about them. Or what about these ones just behind? <laughs> don't think about pink elephants. Get that on Instagram, don't, come on. Don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, well, it's an Instagram party. So you got to do an Instagram live today, aren't you? So, but uh, yeah, looking at all this, you got like, the little clowns there. Yeah, so much to see here. It's not an absolutely huge park, but it's certainly action-packed now with these eight new rides in here. Of course, you've still got all these classic attractions and uh, like the speedway just over there. Of course, you've got the chair swings in the background, but it's mixed in with all these newer rides as well. Uh, we did arrive very early this morning and uh, like I said, we've been invited down here today because uh, they wanted us to come and see the new stuff. They follow the channel. In fact, the fans of the channel themselves here, hence why we wanted to come down and meet them. It's a good four and a bit hours for us to get here. Uh, it's a long drive, but it's certainly worth it. And that's where we're going to make the most of it, spend some time uh, around the seaside as well. But uh, yeah, like just looking at it around here, it looks so much better uh, than it did before. It does look fantastic. It really does. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to come down here. Andrew is absolutely awesome. And Andrew is a guy that's just took us for a behind the scenes tour on the classic scenic railway before it opened. Uh, he took us in the maintenance area. We had a little look inside like the power room for the ride as well. And uh, yeah, that was really kind of him. It's in a separate video. So make sure you go and check that one out. Uh, literally some probably never seen before stuff on, on our YouTube channel anyway. And uh, yeah, certainly worth checking out that one. Andrew's a great guy who works on the maintenance team and uh, he knows a lot about rides. Again, he's an enthusiast himself. That's the thing with here. They've got the Heritage rides. They've got lots of new stuff as well. And a lot of them that work here are enthusiasts. So things are going to be great for the park, aren't they? But uh, yeah, this is where we're going to be later on tonight. And uh, yeah, this has completely changed since me and Charlotte were last here. Obviously, you've got the big stage just over there. There's the Dreamland Drop, one of the new rides from Zamperla. It just opened. You've got all these like food stands all around the side. It's set up just like a festival would be, really. Obviously, you've got like the little ramp there. I assume that's like a disabled viewing area at the back there, Dreamland. When me and Charlotte were here, that was just like wooden planks that just had scaffolding on, you know. So now it's nice how they've actually made them a permanent thing. It reminds me of being in Hollywood. I, was say, I feel like I'm at Creamfields. You should call it Dreamfields. Dreamfields. Yeah. Fish and chips there as well, you know. It's got that, yes, yeah, the shipping container, but it's all that. It's the modern feel they're going for here, isn't it? Festival modern Goodbye, feel. And uh, yeah, it looks nice. That's a new building, I think, since we were last year as well, that toilet block. And uh, yeah, they've generally done a lot of improvements. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to shut up talking. Let's go and check out some of these new rides. Maybe start off just here with the uh, Dreamland Drop, where we're going to get some fantastic views. Uh, the beach, the sea is only just the other side over there. So I look forward to seeing what we can see from the drop. Let's go. 
<laughs> up we go then on the Dreamland drop. So like I say with this one, just a couple of weeks old. I think the views are going to be fantastic. It is quite high, this one. And uh, the whole tower spins on this. It's not just the actual gondola itself. This whole tower spins round. Oh, look at the views. Oh, wow. You can see like the little, uh, little like, lighthouse over there. We walked to that last time. Car park down there. There's some of the other new rides just over there. Some of the kids' rides down the bottom. There's the air race over at the back just there. Whee! Oh, it's quite a tame on this. Like I said, I think it's more of a more for observation than it is for thrills. This one, oi! See, that's just nice. That is. It's not been too much, you know. It's not like a th proper high intensity thrill ride. Whoa! Oh, you get a bit of force at the bottom though, actually. Them views are fantastic there. The park. So in terms of parking, there's quite a lot of car parks around. We've paid five pounds all day to go on the car park uh, just next to it over there. There's the uh, train station right next to it. Five minute walk if you do want to come here on public transport from the uh, train station. Pendulum down there. Like I say, we'll take you on board that. Pinball X in the background. And all them rides just over there, they've bought them as traveling versions so they can do concerts on that space and pack them down if they need to. Oh, you get the force at the bottom as you stop and about to go back up actually, really floaty. Of course, the classic scenic, that's just opens. For its day of operation, there it is actually. One of the first trains of the day. Do love the scenic. Like I say, it's not a high intense thrill ride, but it's a classic, the oldest roller coaster here in the UK. Oh, it's really nice in sync with us just there, down below. In terms of coasters, three roller coasters here, the scenic, there's a little caterpillar coaster, then of course you got the new one, Bimble X. Quite a long cycle on this one. Is that it? I think we're coming back down, are we? There we go, just parking up. Yeah, that was quite nice, that was. Not very really thrilling, it's more of just uh, uh, for observation purposes. I say that, you get some good force when you come to a stop down the bottom and then it sort of propels you back up. But uh, yeah, the views from that are really nice. It's kind of good if you want to go on something a bit bigger than like a frog hopper, uh, you know, but you don't want to go on something quite as intense as like Apocalypse or something, for example, or Detonator at Thorpe Park. Come on this, it's like a good starter drop ride, that one. There you go. Some on-ride footage there from the Dreamland drop. And like I said when we were on it, it's not a high intensity ride, that one, but it's a great sort of step up drop tower in between the lights of like your apocalypse and detonator and like your tiny little frog hoppers and stuff it's that nice step up and with them wanting to attract more families into the park i think it's a great move with that one but uh, anyway we're going on one of the uh, well i say one of the older rides the oldest roller coaster in the country this was actually built back in 1920 this one obviously it's all been replaced since then all the wood uh, there was a large fire i think it was 2008 that to destroy the ride and uh, as we hear in the other video from andrew he shows us some of the original stuff that did survive in the fire but uh, yeah it's a classic it's got the onboard brakeman on here and everything obviously me and charlotte did it it was sort of well, it was getting dark wasn't it last time all the lights around it and everything it looks gorgeous in the dark and that's something that we'll see a little bit later on in uh, in this vlog as well but uh, yeah let's get on there and hopefully we can get sort of behind the brakeman so we can see him working hard but uh, dream job that one i'd love to do it but uh, let's go so the brakeman's in position we're in position, and off we go on the scenic railway on the front row. Like I say, when you sit on the front just here, really close to the track down there. I don't think me and Charlotte did it on the front last time we were here. I mean, we only had either one go, is it two goes? Only one go. Yeah, so it's nice to actually be on the front row. It's weird to be on a, a British roller coaster and say that I've only done it a couple of times and never done it on the front. It's quite nice how you get to see. I love these dragons on the front. There's the rocking tug in action just over there. I like how they've got lights on everything, all the LED lights, so it'll look great in the dark, especially the drop tower. Here's a look at the uh, mechanism. Like I say, if you've not already seen it, check out the little behind the scenes vlog that we did with Andrew from Maintenance, where you get to see how all of this works just here.
And here we go, seeing it railway time. 1920 classic. A bit bigger drop now. Hey! Whoa! Ride so smooth. We're so lucky that this ride's still open, especially after the fire where it had to get be completely rebuilt. Like we say, only a few sections survived after that. round to Cable Hill, number two. A little bit taller this hill, obviously runs parallel to the other one. Oh, seagull. Oh, hey. Nice double down now. Here we go. Hey. Yeah. Of course, later on, we've got the caterpillar coaster down here. And of course, pinball X to do. It's such a fun layout and it's such a long ride as well. we go back around to the end of the ride nice to do that on the front row really good i think i prefer it towards the back though for intensity but yeah that was really really enjoyable there you go fantastic ride on the scenic railway it's amazing though it's still going and obviously yeah it did get completely rebuilt but it's in the same place the same layout fantastic and obviously that mechanism itself the lift mechanism still from 1920 oh there we go Oh yes, how was that? You enjoy it? Incredible. Yeah, yeah nice, 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 isn't it? Ride. Heritage. It's Heritage is really like special. special about that ride. There is, isn't really, it? Really At night time, it's amazing. Shame we won't get to do it in the dark Huge tonight. But... Super. Oh yeah, yeah. What a, what a classic. Okay then. Next up, we're going on one of the uh, other new rides. Then here, the second new ride we're trying today. First of the Dreamline drop. Next up, we're going on this one here, Dreamcatcher. Never actually done one of these before. Like I say, Zamperla, all the new rides are Zamperla. Yeah, never uh, yeah, done one of these before. So I can't give Charlotte any flat ride advice with this one. But like I say, after speaking with Andrew from maintenance, they did opt for the uh, traveling version and not the permanent version because this space here can be used for other things then, such as concerts, events, and also if you ever want to move some of the rides around here, uh, they can do basically like an enterprise but instead of being well instead of sitting in like a rocking gondola you're in the uh, an individual seat and i suppose you don't get that awkward seated moment on these enterprises as well do you you know you just get your own chair on it to enjoy it but uh, yeah let's get on board and uh, see what this one rides like
I really wasn't expecting that to be anywhere near as good as what it was. I thought it might be decent. Obviously, I've not done that type of ride before. And uh, yeah, it really was like an enterprise, but you felt so much more free on that ride in terms of, would it be a singular seat and not got all the cage around you? You've just got your over the shoulder restraint and, uh, and that's it. Your legs are dangling free. You're spinning round at quite a fast speed. Just a really nice, comfortable ride, that one as well. You can tell it's brand new uh, from how it rides. So smooth, so quiet, all the motors and everything. Everything. I love going on these rides when the brand's spanking new. But uh, yeah, fantastic that was. A very, very good flat ride actually. Certainly a lot more intense than the drop tower. I'd uh, say the drop tower's more family. That's definitely a thrill ride, that one. And uh, yeah, really enjoyable. Was Charlotte all right though? That's yes, the question. I enjoyed that. It was good. Charlotte actually enjoyed a flat it was ride. Okay. It wasn't that bad. Not too intense for you. No, that's why but, I'm not uh, coming on this. You're not coming on the air race, I don't, mate. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna overdo it by doing one spinny ride, then going on another. Yeah, there is quite a lot of spinny uh, flat rides here. I look forward to Pendulum though, another one that I've not done. It's what I like with the uh, Dreamland here. Like I say, we've met up with uh, some of the like, mechanics and stuff, and they've said that you know they wanted to pick rides that were a little bit different as well. Like, like I say, uh, they've gone for some different stuff, along with some classics that there's a few of now, like the Air Race and the Rocking Tug. But it's nice how they've not just gone for stuff what's everywhere in the UK. They've gone for a couple of different bits as well, mixed in with some recognisable things like the, uh, the Zampella Air Race. This one very similar to the one on Brighton Pier in the fact that it's a two-seater instead of a four-seater. The larger models are obviously, uh, for example, at Drayton Manor, that's a larger uh, model air race. But uh, I'd still love to see a different theme on these. Now, I know that they're all, the, the generic is flying, but I'd just love for a part to do something a bit different with these. Maybe like a, a bird spinning round or something. But uh, anyway, we're getting on now, so we'll uh, see you over on the ride. What a lovely vibe it's got just here, and you've just seen some on-ride footage there from the air race. Quite a long cycle on that one. Just back here at the little uh, festival stage area now, where we're getting a bit of food. I've got sausage and chips. It was £6.50 with a drink, so I don't think that's too bad for theme park food. Alex has got a pizza there. So many pizza, £6, he's going to pay a pound for a drink. That, that's not bad. Chris has got uh, fish and chips over there, and uh, Charlotte's got chicken, chicken nuggets. Finger, fingers, yeah. But uh, loads of different food. Like we say, it's all set up like a festival style arena. So you've got them all in these containers all the way around the edge. I think it's got a really nice vibe, a really nice setup. But uh, yeah, you can see they're evacuating the scenic railway just over there now, having a little technical problem. Hopefully we'll be back up again later on. But uh, yeah, I love the vibe here. The drop tower's really added to it. The fact it's got uh, the D on top of it. <laughs> And then it's got Dreamland down the side, and obviously it's got all the lighting on, so I assume tonight that'll all be lit up whilst the uh, concert DJs are on on this stage just here. But uh, yeah, I do like the branding there as well, even on the uh, coffee cups just there. Well, milk cups, should I say. They are coffee cups. What's but the drop ride called? Drop rides. Dreamland drop. How's it calling it? The D drop. I don't really know what it is. It, yeah, yeah. Either ride the D or ride the ones behind it. Well, it has got a big D on top of it, hasn't it? But uh, yeah, it is the Dreamland Drop. 
that one. But uh, there you go, food's really nice here, actually. Obviously, there is a lot of other food options around the area, but when you've got a nice atmosphere like this, especially with the music on, may as well make the most of it, really. Of course, we'll then continue and do some uh, more rides. Here we go then, so we're just inside the little uh, animal house now and Alex is about to hold this snake. How does it feel? Very like slippery, yes. Slippery snake. Very soft. I don't think it's real to be honest, it's not moving. Oh it is real. Yeah, I think it's oh, it plastic. Is. I think it's from like one of them joke shops yeah, down the road. <laughs> yeah. He's a... Uh, what's his name? Simon. Not the name I was expecting for a snake, but I like Simon it. Simon the snake. Good eye. Steve, Steve. There you go. Charlotte's face, like, right, with the snake. Hello. What's his name? Steve, what's his name? A wildlife player, Australian. Irwin, Steve Irwin, like. Good eye. There you go. I'm having I think I'm a bit wet on my hand, I don't know why. Lovely. Gosh, Scarlet. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Scarlet. Hello, still. Good girl. Hello, Scarlet. Is it, oh. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I don't, I don't do these things at all. Do you want to say no, don't Charlotte? get it away from me, please. Charlotte, come a bit closer. No, bit closer. I'm not. I'll, I'll create a wall. Scarlet, there you go. There's Scarlet. Scarlet, wave at the viewers of Feedback All Wide. And say, Alex is never doing this again. <laughs> Thank you. That's fine, man. So back over now by the Scenic Railway, where you've got a couple of the other new rides here. You've got like a little balloon ride there. And the girls have just been on this one behind us. The Soaring Seagulls. The Soaring Seagulls. And there's Bert, look. Bert the Seagull. The Bert. girls call it Bert. But Bert. Uh, yeah, did you do some pedalling on this yeah, one? Yeah, that was really good, that was. You got your exercise in we for did. the day. We did, our exercise did we do? But, uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you got these two little uh, new rides here. Obviously, teacups down there. There's a few other smaller rides, including a couple of older uh, vintage smaller fairground rides. And uh, yeah, we're going to head over now and do the uh, a, a cred. It's actually a new credit for me, this one as well. Pinball X, uh, the Zampilla spinning coaster, just over at the back of the park, just there. Yeah, I really like it, and there's so much space here for development as well. So there's a crazy golf over there. That's actually an old Dodgems building by the looks of it, that's turned into a crazy golf. Obviously, you've got your classic Sizzler attraction just here. Dreamcatcher going around, I really enjoyed that. Definitely my favourite of the new rides that we've done so far. Yeah, Pinball X just over at the back. I really like the sign. Of course, follows that same sort of layout as the old Ravishans, but Zampirla have uh, done this one. Oh, I love a good scrambler. Psycho. Hey, where are they running now? What are they doing? They're being cheeky. What's up? To go. Are they, look at these big ones there, look. There you yeah, go. That's like the one I've got, but it, that's the medium size, that's small. I've got one that's about this big, that's bigger than the one I've got. There you go. Wow. I love it. Are you enjoying Dreamland? Yes. Nice park. It's changed a lot, hasn't it, since we came, though? In a good way, in terms of new investment. But yeah, it's a new credit for all of us, this one. In ball X, brand new. I think this will be nice and smooth. Looks quite smooth on them corners. There's the uh, operating dodge was just there. There's a couple of rides that are closed at the moment. One of those includes the uh, Helter Skelter just there that's got a little bit missing at the bottom. Not too sure what the plans are for that in the future, but it's still standing at the moment, but not operating. And also the little uh, spinning caterpillar where the roof comes over, that is closed at the moment. Again, not too sure what the uh, plans are long term for that one. But uh, yes, right, Pinball X, new credit. Oh, they put all their uh, fake grass down underneath, make it look nice. Got a bit of a queue, probably about 15, 20 minute wait. Well, right, cred's a cred. Got a bit of a queue, 15, 20 minutes, but it's a cred. If you love roller coasters a lot, come and buy one of those flats just there.
home ride footage there then from Pinball X. Very, very smooth that was. You could tell it was very nice and controlled as it was going around the layout. But uh, yeah, brand new ride yet again, and you could really tell it with that one actually. Obviously a lot of the Revision ones are quite jolty and things. And don't get me wrong, it's still got that element of it, which I think is important really on them spinning coasters. You don't want it to be too smooth, uh, especially on the corners. You want that force being pushed into the side or the person next to you. And uh, yeah, Pinball X certainly kept that. But uh, you could tell it was brand new with just the hat. That's how it was running, you know what I mean? It was quite controlled, but it still had a few jolts here and there, which them sort of rides need really to make them fun. If we didn't have them jolts, it wouldn't really be that that would have a ride if you know what I mean but uh, yeah same layout as the Revision versions and uh, yeah it was enjoyable that was still can't believe how close it is though to them uh, well apartments next door if you love coasters honestly get one of those buy it and you'll get a great sea view and you'll get to see all the coasters and rides here at the park as well but uh, yeah we're going in this uh, maze just here now and actually this was used during Halloween just here uh, when we came during 2015 and they had like a big uh, a big bunny rabbit in there last time dressed up which was quite funny one of the attractions but yeah it's lovely they've certainly landscapes all there since we last came there's a treetop bar there I don't think it's open today but it's made of all wicker wicker man all around the side but so uh, yeah we're going in the maze which is a combination of shipping containers and the wooden structure on the top to make it look Nice, it's got what's, what's the sort of well, first style of all, it's not in the maze, it's just maze. maze. Get it right. I do love this. What's style, the concept? It? It's a mirror maze. It's a mirror maze. There you go. Oh, there you oh, go. I'm, well, I'm not the kind of person. I'm yeah, not well, looking myself in the mirror. We're about to be. This scared me last time I came in because that big rabbit was, was in here. It was a big, someone dressed as a big rabbit last oh, time yeah, we came in here. Streamlined, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I can promise you, the only person in there is the person who's in there earlier. Oh, she's oh, good, she's good. Right, yeah. well, let's go and have a look. It was very creepy, this was. You're gonna scare her. Alex is gonna scare her. Ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna go and get my telling off, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Soundtrack's very creepy in here. It's just very creepy in general, I mean, look at these, eh? Yeah. <laughs> There's Christa, is she there? Oh no. Yeah. Is it real or is it glass? Is it real? Oh no, she's there, it's alright. There's Alex. Is it mirror or is it glass? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we got a live right. Hang on, camera's going off. A and E coming in. Medical assistant. Right then, it's time to go on another one of the new rides then here at Dreamland. The last of the big new rides to go on. Pendulum. Starts off quite slow this one, it spins round, rocks a bit like a pirate ship, but then it goes all the way over. All bit of cue jumping going on there, cue jumping. There we are. These actually went on it earlier on, didn't you? Yes, and it was okay actually, I quite enjoyed it. What is it that you like in flats? What's going on? No, but this isn't too forceful actually, it's not too bad. Though. It was alright, yeah. Would you like it earlier, Krista? Yeah, it was really yeah, cool. it was alright. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like I say, I can't believe it. I've never done one like this before. Oh They've beat me to it. Shocking. Yeah, again, this only opened a couple of weeks ago, brand new. It's got a lighting package attached to it. Get quite a lot of hang time up there. Hopefully the restraints are quite comfortable with that much hang time. It's got a reasonable throughput. It's a bit like a modern swinging inverter ship, a bit like the uh, Black Pearl at uh, Lightwater Valley. Obviously a lot faster. Oh, you're getting some right hang time on that. 
Dreamline drop there in the background. It's great that they've got all these new rides though. Fantastic. Increasing the park throughput and of course things to do here as well. Of course there were some great rides here before. Was there probably a full day's worth? Probably not. However now with all these rides, certainly say there is. Right, let's go and get on. I'll uh, share some on ride footage. Enjoy the ride. Tell you what, they've invested in some really good ride hardware here. That was really nice yet again. I'm surprised that isn't too intense for Charlotte though, to be honest. You know. Enjoy that yeah, come on, come and tell us a fascinating fact what you know about that ride. The fascinating fact is that ride has ten different cycles. Ten cycles. So it was a different cycle from when we went on. Yeah, they said it was a longer cycle that one. It was running really well though, that was. Nice yeah, intense was ride. I was going to say, when I was going round, I thought, hang on a minute, I'm surprised Charlotte likes this one. But uh, yeah, well, there you go. I'm proud that you've done them though today. But it's a nice bit of hardware, really smooth ride. And I'm just really pleased with that. I think Dreamcatcher still tops it for me that little bit because I like the, the feel of flying and the fact you can just sort of let your arms go free as you're going round on it. It's very nice. But uh, don't get me wrong, Pendulum, fantastic investment. And the, the drop ride, not intense, but just nice for the views overall. I think it's really nice because they put in four thrill rides and uh, obviously the three little fam well, four family rides, really. It's good, really nice. Very impressed. Now, there's some big coasters out there in the world. There is, uh, yeah, there's, yeah. There's rides like Goliath X2. What made you say Goliath first? Well, I don't know. What's your Goliath point? ain't that good, really. Oh, okay, that's uh, your, yeah. your choice, your choice. Red Force, Shambhala, Steel Vengeance. But now, here comes the greatest roller coaster in the world. The caterpillar, that's not a caterpillar. It's not a caterpillar, it's a bumblebee. It's a bumblebee. It looks like it's going to sting Can a shark. see it under it? One. There it is. Look, there. Oh, is that the back of it? Uh, that's the, the back of the bee. So, yeah, there we go. I can't remember. Really we got on this last time. I can't remember if we did or not. See, I'm trying to support the protected bee, but everyone keeps wanting to ride it. Oh, oh, there we've we got some farm it. trees down. If, you're not, if theme parks aren't for you, get yourself to Beacon Bingo just over there. Beacon Bingo, lovely. Right, let's go and have a ride. Hands down, this is the best wacky worm caterpillar we've ever done, because Alex has just managed to persuade the operator to give us a custard cream, which was... <laughs> That was quite funny, that one. So basically the story goes, there were some custard creams at the side, 
Alex said, yeah, have a custard cream. And uh, yeah, he was like, yeah, go for it. So we all got custard cream, very nice of him. More custard creams, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love the views of the scenic from on here, though. <laughs> there you go, fantastic. Hopefully get another ride on the scenic. It's very busy, and then it's gone down again now, but... Whee! You know what? This reminds me of Icon. Because of the floor. Yeah. Because <laughs> of creams. <laughs> Win a big one. Oh no. I'm alright. I do love all the lighting that they've got in this part. The scene looks amazing at night. Unfortunately, I don't think it's open tonight for the uh, concert that we're staying for. When me and Charlotte did it last time, it was in uh, the, dark. Good in the dark. Yeah, it was. Dreamline drop car, I love the look of that ride. Oh, it might not be the most intense thing ever, but it looks great. It's like a new icon for the park, really. It's Charlotte drop town. Yeah, it's nice. Ooh, ooh. Whee! There we go, Bumblebee. Bzz, bzz. Oh, you're, not, you're joking, oh my God, we're off again. Give me a buzz, Krista. <laughs> I don't think the uh, viewers want to see this for a third time. You. It's alright, give them time to chew on their um, garlic bread tonight. Garlic bread? That's what you're having here, aren't you, tonight? Garlic I bread. So, yeah. We're having tea here and we've got an event on. I'll talk a bit more about it later on. Oh, it's great to see all these new rides here though. Yeah, race over there. Big drop now, big drop. It's our third lap round. I mean, just know it's a bit of theming. It's probably the best one of those I've done. And that's just for the custard creams. Creamy. So this is a couple more rides, then had a re-ride on Dreamcatcher. Really do enjoy that flat ride. It's certainly my favorite ride what they've put in out of those new additions. There's the uh, Zamperla rocking tug. Again, just there so you can see it. It's got a little bit more theming on the side there than, uh, well, I know it's the standard theming it comes with. But it's got a little bit more going for it than uh, when they put in Heave Ho at Alton Towers. Obviously, Heave Ho looks great now because they put all the boarding around it, but when it opened in 2008, 10 years ago, didn't have all that on there. Right, we're going for a re-ride on the Dreamline drop now. Where's Alex? Can we see him? Alex! Is he coming on? Oh, yes! <laughs> in about seven, eight minutes. There we go, gearing up here in a live entertainment. Follow the DJs round to the boardroom at the top of the hour. Alright? <laughs> but in the meantime, come to the next time. Look at him just chilling out over there on the hill. Oh he can't see us, can he? Right, let's go for a rewrite. This is another awesome ride then on the Dreamland Drop. And our last ride of the day, technically, because of the operation here today at Dreamland Margate, which I'm going to talk a bit about now. So, like I say, the park's been open uh, from 10 o'clock this morning up until 6. It's just turned 6 o'clock now. And then tonight is a special event night, meaning that the beautiful stage area here with all the grass, uh, all the food outlets, the bars, are all going to be open tonight for a special event. But, uh, yeah, the way they're doing it is a little bit of an interesting system that personally I'm not too keen on and for me it seems like they're missing out on a bit of an opportunity to make a lot of money here really with this one because obviously here earlier on you saw us sat just here where we had our food and you've got all these bars and uh, restaurants all the way around the side obviously it's six o'clock now meaning that it's tea time but these have all had to close all the way around the side along with all the rides in the park 
because obviously this turns into the venue, which is fantastic, the fact this is turning into a, a venue for tonight's uh, entertainment, which is great. I love the fact they're doing events, they're staying open late. It's worth pointing out these rides in this area are reopening again. Uh, I think it's seven o'clock or something like that when the event kicks in. You've got the Ferris wheel. Uh, there's a few other bits that we'll do later on in the vlog. But uh, yeah, it just seems a bit of an interesting system. I'm not too keen on that because the way I think of it is, the beach is absolutely rammed out the front there now. And uh, yeah, like obviously this, the parts need to make money, don't they? And I just feel like they're missing an opportunity. All these food outlets are closed. You got Weatherspoons, McDonald's, all the chippies along the front, which are going to make a fortune, which is great for the local businesses. But I just feel like the park might be missing a bit of a trick with this one. I'm not too keen on the idea, really. I'm not, I'm I not think too sure. What's, what's interesting is, so this arena space is kind of located right next to the main entrance of the theme park. Um, what would be really quite useful is in, 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 close, uh, in, in, closing, in closing this area off maybe 5 o'clock in the evening and having, yes you're able to get in and out, however come 6 o'clock, this part of this playing the park is now closed announcement, having people allowed to stay in here with the restaurants only, just making that little bit of extra money um, because I think, you know, the rest of the park's closed, fair enough, that's understandable, but they could do with really keeping this area open with a bit of music on, having a bit of an atmosphere to draw people in and even if it's just one conga line straight from the main entrance into here, that's also okay, but looking at the system for tonight's event, it looks like you're going to have to walk quite a way round the side of the promenade into a side entrance to get back into this arena for the show tonight which I can imagine is going to be pretty chaotic to be honest at, at mm. 7 o'clock when the event uh, opens it's worth pointing out that I love the fact they're doing the event and we've got a really nice time at the park the new rides it. 8 rides that's probably more of a flat ride investment we've ever, than we've ever had in this country if not at any theme park in the world where else opens 8 flat rides in a year great. you don't hear of it do you um, so yeah like that's brilliant the park looks great so much better improved than what it was but I understand it's a special event tonight and I just think there could be you know the park we, we, we don't mind you know we're gonna have some food outside but if these were open hey charlotte's fell over oh god be careful yeah if these were open, i'd have probably had a hot dog and stuff from over there whereas now i'm gonna be spending my money out on the promenade i just feel like they're missing a bit of a an opportunity a bit of a trick with this one really but uh, right. anyway i'm looking forward to it we're coming back in tonight it's a separate ticketed event but uh, again the park invited us down to come and see this one along with the rides today uh, and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing it. it's the tro trojan music or something trojan music festival. dj I think so it it's going to be a little bit of reggae slash dubstep kind of mixing up <laughs> it's not, i don't know if it's really a bit of we had a bit of bony m on it oh, like yeah. so it'll, it'll be good laugh yeah i mean i don't know if it's our cup of tea directly but we have a good laugh like with a good lighting over on the stage they're putting a bit of design up so it looks like it's going to be good but uh, oh, oh, there you go. That's it. Yeah, everybody out. But uh, right, let's go get some food on the promenade, and we'll uh, see you a little bit later on. <laughs> Right then, so it's been a couple of hours since I last spoke with you guys. We've actually made our way then round to the concert entrance, which uh, surprisingly is actually right round the other side. So obviously the main entrance to the park is round on the seafront there, and that's the building. Uh, but to get to the concert arena as the opening on the night, you walk down the street, and then you come across the car park here, and uh, yeah, operates as a proper actual concert venue, this one, in terms of you can't bring in, well, like your own alcohol, food, yeah, drinks. Typical arena security. Stuff, you know, really, what you'd expect, really. So, yeah, yeah don't bring out any, uh, any perfumes or anything. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the empty bottles of water. But, uh, oh, they took my water bottle. Oh, water bottle, I don't really go to concerts to be honest, but I know that sort of stuff isn't allowed. But uh, yeah, just a little heads up if you are coming down. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you this because we're coming in this way. 1920 to present day, the scenic railway. Caterpillar down there, 22 to 81. Even, hey, even back in 1920, the operators were still giving another push. Look at that, it's crazy, isn't it? Brooklyn's racetrack. River caves up the top there, that's a nice one of the park there. There you go, so obviously we're standing down here now. Missed out on Looping Stars. The looping Stars. Made by Schwartz Scott. Yeah, look at that. Nice. 62 to 81, paratrooper, skywheel, hurricane jets. Big wheels for this, 1923. Oh, crazy, isn't it? Bit of a different one, that, by the looks of it. I suppose they've replaced it over the years. But that just shows how much the place has changed over the years. Some sort of, it's not like a stadium there as well, like all seating across the across the side oh, it's amazing isn't it but uh yeah so we're all sorted to get in it's a bit like i said it's a bit of an interesting system i'm not too keen on the system of making everybody go around but hey ho we're not here for that we're here for the main event which is that well what's going to be on the stage the light is i'm not the looking DJ. at my auto queue 
Sunset Fashion, Trojan Sound System. That's it, Trojan. Trojan. Trojan Sound System. T R O J A N Sound System. Should we get inside and go and have a look Let's at the stage? Let's go to the scenic stage, that's what it's called. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see all the park lit up at night. Look at this, just behind now. Oh, sun setting here in Margate. But uh, yeah, we're getting a couple of rides down here that we didn't actually get to do earlier on during the day. That includes the Speedway just over here. Done a few of those lately, loads of heritage rides. And me and Charlotte are actually off to uh, Folly Farm next weekend in Wales. We get to do some more heritage. And of course, you've got the chair swings open there, Ferris wheels open, and the carousel. So it is a bit of a limited ride offering tonight. As expected, they do advertise just limited rides. Of course, the main event is the stage. But uh, yeah, the lighting looks incredible. Shame that the scenic's not open though. I would like to have done that tonight. But we did it earlier on. Did close after that, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like the atmosphere is going to be great down there. But uh, yeah, let's go for a ride on here. One of my favourites, a nice classic speedway. And obviously, I love this in Dreamland how they put all these boards out. Telling you a little bit about the ride. Very proud of the history, but not scared of investing in new stuff either, which is great. Okay, then, first ride of the night Speedway. Yeah, Charlotte. It's birds, yeah. So just remind the viewers about the whole bird thing. So, every seagull I see is called bird, and I'm on bird. There we go, I'm on 8A, which is Ian. Ian, yeah, we got uh, IOA over there, stands for Islands of Adventure. <laughs> Next month. It's busy in here though. Which is what we want, great to see the atmosphere. I think it's gonna be great. It's not as fast as the one at Carter. Nah, it's not. Yet. Oh, does it not? Yeah. Obviously the Ferris wheel's open, so we'll go on that one. We didn't do that earlier. Still can't believe how much they've improved this part with the landscaping, lighting all in the bushes there. They are really onto a winner. It does look really nice. Like I say, the new rides are fantastic. Classics mixed in with new stuff. I love it. Speedway. Speedway. way over into the arena itself and wow I must say this does look fantastic as a setup obviously you've got the Dreamline drop there in the background the ferris wheel on the left the stage with the scenic railway there behind it all of these strings of festoon lights into the middle it looks fantastic 10 out of 10 effort here obviously you got this mound at the top just here it looks really good nice isn't it what a setup. I could, I could sit here all night and what I loved is as well, I'm going to kind of go back to the start of the vlog here and say, when we walked in this morning, this area was so clean and tidy. It's like you wouldn't even know big concerts and events are done on here really. Yeah, really it's, nice. It's to really back, well yeah. maintained. Very, very impressed. Yeah, my only thing I don't like is just the way of getting into it and sending you down the road and shutting the bit off early, you know. The operations have been the, the letdown, if anything. Not the path, not the cleanliness, not the rise itself. It's just been operations, but I suppose it's a work in progress. We are still quite new to the systems. Hopefully, touch wood, if there's any, they'll get there. Thanks. <laughs> also worth pointing out, you can hire these booths over at the back there as well. Quite expensive, I think, but if you got a lot of money and want to have an even better night, go for it. There you go. Wow. Then we're going to go on the Ferris wheel where we'll get some amazing views of the sunset. Oh, the park looks absolutely beautiful now. The sun's gone down. It's dark here at Dreamland. All the lights are on. Beautiful. And the scenic railway has just lit up as soon as we got into our gondola just here on the Ferris wheel. 
Hey, there we are. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, we'll chase the lights on there. It's a shame that's not open. That would have really made it because obviously when we did Screamland, it was open. It was open yeah. Oh, it's a bit chilly up here. It's probably a bit windy on the camera, so I do apologise. But uh, Alex and Krista are sat all the way at the top just there. You can just make them out right at the top. Oh, there we are. Let's focus it that way. That's it. There you go. Yeah, they're all the way sat just over there by the A. There you go. I'm just waiting for the main act to start. Yeah, it's all like reggae and, and stuff music, so it's not really our cup of tea, is it? No, but it's good. I love what they've done with it. A lot of people are enjoying it, yeah. and yeah, the setup of the event in here is really, really nice. I like it a lot. Park has done a great job with the lighting and everything, really good. All them palm trees are lit up individually down there, lovely. And obviously there's a festival going on at the moment in Margate in general, uh, meaning that it's been very busy. There's a few different stages with live music on and everything going on. And of course, we didn't show it earlier, but you've got the roller disco inside there as well, which you can do. But uh, I'll show you a few more shots when we get to the top. We're only just over halfway. from Trojan sound system. Not really our uh, type of uh, music at all, our genre, but uh, it's good to see the atmosphere in there. That's why we wanted to stick about really tonight, just to uh, go in there and see the atmosphere, feel it, uh, see all the lights on the buildings, and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. I do apologize a bit for the wind, we're on the seafront now, and you've just seen the beautifully neon lit sign, which looks fantastic. It's like something out of Vegas, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so it's a bit windy, I do apologize. We'll keep it quite brief, because you've seen our thoughts today, and we've been really impressed with what we've seen here at Dream Land. Uh, but let's get everyone's uh, highlights of the day from this one, with it being a new part for these two. And of course, they need to have me and Charlotte's second visit. So. Everything, I really like yeah. the part. I think it's a really nice historic part with a lot of good background. I think the venue, the entertainment venue, and of course, the classic coaster itself. Yeah, see it Railway, scenic 1920. Railway. A scenic railway with a very scenic event space together made for a really beautiful park for me. And all the new rides, but I can't really pick a favourite to me, I just like the park. Eight new rides, it's a good investment. Incredible, really, really good, investment. really strong. But uh, yeah, there you really go, and uh, hope we'll be back soon. Krista, enjoyed it? I really enjoyed it, yeah. It's you, very got, nice you got a highlight from your day? A dream catcher. Dream catcher, yeah, good flat dream. ride. That was my favourite of the flats. Yeah. Favourite ride on park, still seeing it, but... Yeah, I do like that as a good flat ride. Probably my second favourite there. Charlotte, oh, I'm cold now, I'm freezing. I've had a wonderful time. You enjoyed it? Yes. Highlight? The Dreamland Drop. 
the Dreamland drop. Yeah. You like that one? I like. Not too intense, is it? No, it's but nice the views one. are nice. Yeah, but I like uh, that one. yeah, there you go. And for me, the highlight, of course, getting back on the scenic, seeing the eight new rides for a park like this. Bear in mind, they're not funded by a massive company. They've got eight new rides, a massive investment for this year. And uh, yeah, like I said, we were invited down by the park to come and see all this today. So a big thank you to Andrew and also to Jack and everyone else here at Dreamland for making it possible. And we'll probably, uh, it's in to promise, but we'll probably be coming back here for, at Halloween for Screamland. We're going to try our best to fit it into the schedule this year. It's a long way for us, but I think it'll be worth it because from what we know, they're looking at doing a, a more attractions here than they've ever done before, which I think will be fantastic. And uh, yeah, I look forward to it. But uh, there you go. Thank you very much for watching another video here on Theme Park Worldwide. Check out the website for the park. There's all sorts of events on uh, during the summer that is certainly worth checking out. Uh, and yeah, of course, Halloween here, eight new rides, the scenic, everything else that's here. Honestly, come and check it out. The landscaping looks great. The atmosphere in the park's really nice. And uh, yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. Of course, it's not perfect. There's still a long way to go with a few bits in there. Many a few of the ride operations haven't been 10 out of 10, but it's not been bad at all. They've not been bad operations. It's just been a little bit iffy in places with some of the rides. But uh, in general, it's been absolutely fantastic. And uh, thank you very much for watching another video here on Theme Park Worldwide. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later from Dreamland.